Things are getting a little bit interesting here. As we all know, we're talking about articles, news, and stuff like that. But where is that service that provides us the data we need? Do I have to write everything myself? Absolutely no, because we're gonna using the retrofit package that uses the DO as a network client. The first thing we have to do is to create a folder called remote in the data source folder. Because later we want to work with the local database we will also create folder called local. As we said we will use the retrofit package to request the server, we already made a video about it. Please watch it first and then come back here. Now we create a file called news API service. Here we first define an abstract class called news API service. This class is responsible for handling all the network call methods. Because retrofit generates code, we must specify the .g file with part at the top of the file. In our case it will be news API service .g .dart. Also we need to use REST API annotation and pass the API base URL to it, so the generator will know it's a retrofit interface. To set the base URL, we create a folder called constants in core and then create a new file called constants inside it. Now here we define a string type variable named base URL and set the API URL. Now we go back to the news API service class and set the base URL. Then also we need create a factory constructor that accepts DO. The last thing we need to do is to define the method that we are going to make a request to the API. Therefore, in the abstract class we define a future method called getNewsArticles, which returns a list of article model. The return type here is wrapped with class called HTTP response and this is because we need details about our response such as status and message. This is very helpful for us to determine certain things once we get the response, like whether we get a successful response or some server errors. We do not implement this method. Any of this supposed to be implemented by the retrofit generator. Now it is enough to determine what method this is. That's why we have to use HTTP annotation. Therefore, we must use retrofit annotations, as you know the type of request we send to the API is get. Retrofit uses the base URL that we defined above and now we need to put the in and point in get, which can be top headlines according to the API URL. If we pay attention to the API URL we can see that there are parameters such as API key, country and categories. We must also set these parameters in our request. For this in the get news articles method, we set these parameters as input by using query annotation, so that when calling this method, we pass these three parameters to it. In this abstracted method, we're basically telling the retrofit to generate a method for us that can internally uses the DO to make a get network call to an endpoint named top headlines with the base URL we provided at the top of the class, and also takes multiple query parameters as defined in the function's parameters. And that's it, we don't need to write anything else. To generate the code, run the following command in your terminal. In the next video we will use the news API service class in the repository and we will also go to the use case part. So stay with me, and make sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.